Hi, welcome to another PhotoBlazer tutorial. Today I'm going to walk you through three simple digital enhancements you can make to make a photograph look great. Now I'm using Lightroom 2 as a demonstration tool, but all these concepts are applicable to many different advanced photography software. So, the first thing we'll do is take a look at the histogram up here on the top right. Now you want your dark areas and the which is on the left of the graph and the light areas to be really spread out across the graph. To do this we'll use the black slide lever down here to move the graph to the left just a bit. So if I just slide it across you can see I push the histogram to the left getting the dark area to spread about even more across the histogram. Then to balance it I'll use the exposure slide to now push it to the right and get my lights to spread out across a bit more evenly in the histogram as well. Next, I'll move down to the tone curve to give our photograph a lot more pop. I'll pull up the lights to make them lighter and pull down the darks to make them darker. Now the resulting S-curve is very useful in photography and can really give any photograph a lot of pop. The tone curve also gives you a lot more control over contrast than the sliders do. So now you can see my sky is a bit too bright especially compared to my foreground. Now I can resolve this by using the graded filter tool. I just click that and pull it down and the filter now covers half my photograph right at the horizon level. The filter will allow me to selectively choose the sky and darken the sky leaving the foreground untouched. So just make sure I click on exposure and if I move my slide now to the left I will darken the sky. You can see the foreground is pretty much unaffected. That's the power of the graded, tool, the graded filter tool. And that's just about right for me. And since every feature of the photograph is connected to each other, changing one aspect of a photo will affect another. So I'm just going to play with my curves a bit to brighten the fo overall photograph. Since the filter darkened the sky, it also darkened the picture just a little bit. So I've just added a bit of fill and boosted my curve so that it's a bit brighter overall. Finally, I'm going to add a bit of vignette to the edges to give it a bit more drama. So those ominous clouds are really, uh, really adds a bit more drama to the overall photograph. And finally, I'm just going to straighten out the picture a bit, and the horizon is all level, and that looks great right now. So there you go. Let's compare that to our original photo and see how it compares. Yeah, there you can see it. There's a lot more contrast, a lot more pop, and a lot more drama in the new enhanced photograph. So to summarize, use your exposure controls to evenly spread out that histogram and get it to touch those edges. And then try using an S-curve to really make that photograph pop, making those lights lighter and darks darker. Always evaluate your overall photograph after each change you make.